Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker is the Honorable Chair in order to purport to speak with authority over things he know nothing about. He may be a surgeon, but he does not go through what we go through. So you cannot be an authority on our bodies. For those of us who may have gone through uh, problems like that, cosmetic issues are the last of our interest. All women want at that point, yeah, this one is theoretical. At that point, all we want, Mr. Speaker, is to be well. We are not interested in, uh, in cosmetics. So don't start with cosmetic. Sorry, Speaker. <laughs> Hold, because, uh, yes, Owen Bayer. Uh, uh, Honorable Speaker, you know, this is very interesting. But I also want to say that Honorable Milio Diambo and Honorable Zamzam can speak from that perspective which they would like to speak to. But the Honorable Pokose is a renowned surgeon, a doctor, a person who understands the woman's body from a scientific position more than the women who are here. He is more versed to explain about a woman's body better than the women in this house. And therefore, allow the Honorable Pokose to give you what needs to be done. Honorable Speaker, I think we, we need, to, we need to, to balance between politics, between populism, and the real issues that the Honorable Pokose is talking about. Honorable Speaker. Protect Honorable Speaker, uh, Pokose, protect him. I beg you, Honorable Speaker. Protect oh, da, David Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. When I speak, I speak with authority. A member of my own family had that challenge. I spent hours and hours with doctors. Eventually, I got an 80-year-old doctor who could do laparoscopic surgery. And they explained to us the reason why we needed to do it. And Honorable Pokose, you may be... Let me tell you, the, the, the patient is the one who knows best. It is not the doctor. The, do, medicine is proximate science. You decide my diagnosis according to what I tell you, not because of what you feel. So it is me who knows how my body feels. It is proximate science. So don't come and lecture us here that the doctor knows. The doctor has to rely. If I tell the doctor my head aches, even though it was my feet, he'll treat my head. So believe me, you're not an authority. It is the women who are authority. And let me quote, Oprah Winfrey once said, Oprah Winfrey once said, keep off my uterus. Oh, Damili, this is not a public rally. <laughs> yes, uh, doc, let's now, Zamzam, let's hear Dr. Bukose. Okay. Th thank you, Honorable Goja, Speaker. Ngoja Bukose, Zamzam. Uh, Mwishmiwa speaker, huyu ni surgeon, is a kosi gynecologist. Na yeye hana uterus, yeye haendi kwa hedhi, mke wake ndo enda kwa hedhi, na kuna wezekano mkubwa kuwa kwa familia yake hajapata matatizo kama hai. Hii kitu daktari ni serious, watoto kuanzia miaka kumi na tatu. Wanaumu watumbo ilikuwa mimi ni kiumu wa natamba, natamba na Veu nanambia yule mtoto masikini atapata wapi pesa za cosmetic Tafuteni madakitari wasaidie wa Kenya hapa Mambo ya kuchangia watu kuenda inje kutafuta matibabu ni makosa Na tuna, tuna waziri ambaye meingia waziri wakike waziri ngangari Enda mkae na ye chini awape mambo ya wakika mlete bungeni Si mambo ya google hapa ni masale ya maisha wanadamu Asanti sana mwishmi wa speaker Yes mili hold bukose Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are not finishing, <laughs> Honorable Pukose. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we just want him to be better educated. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I am bringing what is called the Family Reproductive Health Care Bill based on my own personal experience on reproductive issues. Mr. Speaker, when I was in the office of the Attorney General, I was admitted because I used to be admitted every month when I was on my menses. And every month I was told I am aborting, Mr. Speaker. And most women go through that. And when you have a problem like this at one point, I went to a hospital, one of the renowned hospitals, and they gave me a finding with, by an expert doctor. And I was walking around in the office giving, because I was a very innocent, naive girl. 
Then somebody called me and told me, Millie, do you know what you are telling people? That you are having a sexually transmitted infection. I'm not even sexually active, but I'm walking around with a sexually transmitted infection. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, even women who have not gone through this, even if they are side joints, are not authorities. I saw a woman gynecologist when I was fainting in the office and I wanted a day off. And she told me, just for periods, just for periods, you do not know what other women go through when they have periods. So let women who have experience, we are telling you, you may be an expert, but it's theoretical. I am the expert because I've gone through it. So respect my opinion, I am the expert on practicals. Now give Dr. Bukose an opportunity to answer. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, Honorable Speaker, uh, 